Hello everyone, my name is Heather and today I'm going to be filming a hopefully quick video for you guys. I just finished filming my summer empties and that was long. That video should also be uploaded already so if you want to check that out I will leave it linked down in the description box and I'll make it pop up in the corner uh, so you can check that out. So I have a whole playlist of empties too so if you're like obsessed with watching what people have used up then I have a lot of content that is like that. So what I did not include in that video are the things that I have decluttered. I normally combine them because I don't I try to use things up typically um, rather than declutter stuff. Uh, so what I usually do declutter, I kind of include in my empties, but this time I feel like there's, oh, shut up, phone. Um, I feel like there's enough stuff I've decluttered that it can be its own video. So, also I'm sorry that it's dark. I'm trying to do this before the sun goes down. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start with tools that I am decluttering. And the first one is this makeup sponge. It is the Sephora makeup sponge and I actually, let me bring my other one. Please pardon how dirty this is. Um, I have cleaned it very recently but it's to the point now where it's so old that like even when I clean it, it's not quite clean. Um, so anyway, just to kind of give you an idea, it does expand quite a bit. So I really did like the sponge, obviously, because I repurchased it at a certain point. I repurchased it before I went cruelty-free, and the Sephora brand isn't cruelty-free, but there are a ton of options out there that are cruelty-free, like Eco Tools, Real Techni Techniques. I'm pretty sure Beauty Blender itself, the official one, is cruelty-free as well. So I'm not worried about finding a cruelty-free alternative, but I did just want to show you guys um, that I am I do declutter my sponges about every six months so it's getting to the point now where I'm going to be decluttering this and replacing it with a cruelty free option also at a certain point it completely ripped in half which is crazy also I didn't get any bugs in my beauty blender do you guys from my sponge do you guys remember when that whole like video was going crazy because everyone was like ew like cut open your beauty blender there's gonna be bugs in it and then i am decluttering two makeup brushes in the month of august i did the 30 day minimalism challenge or i didn't completely complete it but i was trying so hard to try and declutter as many things every single day i'm sorry my husband just got home so harley her tail hit the door um but anyway i went through and did a whole inventory of all my makeup brushes of all my makeup and i was looking at my brushes and i'm like there are a lot that i'm just not using anymore they're really really old i don't know if you can tell but like i don't know look how just grubby and it's all it's just it's not soft anymore i don't even use like powder foundation anymore to use this brush and the hairs are falling out it's just like I don't need this in my life anymore. Uh, same with this. This was a, it came from the Bare Minerals kit that I got when I first ever started using Bare Minerals, which nothing against Bare Minerals. Like I'm, I'm probably going to use it again in the future, um, but I just haven't used it in a long time anyway. And this was for like the bronzer, <laughs> which you'll actually see, <laughs> spoiler alert. Um, but yeah, the, 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 what are they called? The hairs. The bristles whatever are falling out it's not very soft i tried using it as a contour also and i just i don't love it the contour brush that i currently use i really like so i just don't need this anymore next are quite a few nail polishes some of them you've seen if you watched my nail polish collection and declutter video that i posted not too long ago and then some of them i actually decluttered before i filmed that video so starting off with the things that you may have seen if you've seen that video um they're all from the same brand it's the uh the color workshop i almost threw this at the wall <laughs> um this is the color they're all the color workshop they're from like 2010 so i have been actively trying to use up my nail polishes and i have so many that even if i get to the point where there's still some down here at the bottom if every single time i apply nail polish i have to like shake up the bottle like crazy to get product on the brush like it's just not worth it it's not worth it. I don't want to restore it and try and like actually use it up 100%. I, I just, life is too short and I have too many nail polishes to use up to bother with that. So that's why these aren't in my empties because they're not technically empty. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would, do you think I should consider them empty? 
or decluttered. I don't know. Uh, you saw this kind of shimmery nude. If you watched that video, you may have also seen this kind of like corally, like orangey red in the video. It's gone, decluttering it. Uh, you also saw this deep purple, decluttering it. But what you did not see, well, you saw it, but I hadn't decluttered it yet, is this guy. So this you see that last line, that's where it is right now. So that might look like a lot to you guys, but I have to shake it every single time I apply to each nail and uh, that's not the life I wanna live. Um, and not only that, it's just getting thicker, like it's old. Okay, the nail polishes that you did not see. This one is uh, a Nailene, I think that's the brand, Nailene Professional Solutions Nail Grower. I got this, <sighs> Oh my god, I don't even know. Like middle school? Like, and now I'm decluttering it. Obviously, I didn't use it very much. Um, I've always had issues with like, I've, I've, I have short nail beds. That's not an issue. That's like a genetic thing. But my nails don't grow that long typically. And so I've always had that issue, obviously. That's why I bought this many, 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 many years ago when I did, but I don't use it. And I'm sure whatever active ingredient is in here, if there even is one, it is long since expired. <laughs> so it's embarrassing that I still have it. And, but I won't after this video. So, and then look at these, these have like dried on nail polish on these. These are um, Maybelline. It's a set. It's supposed to make your nail, your nails like mirrors. I mean, it's fine, it's cool, like it looks metallic, but yeah, I'm just not into it anymore. Like, it was very gimmicky. I'm pretty sure it was from a slumber party or something I went to. Actually, I'm I'm pretty sure it was from a slumber party. And I know, I know who it is. <laughs> do, do you guys watch Dan Marie makeup? Dan Marie Beauty, oh God, I don't remember exactly. I'm gonna link her channel down below. Um, we were actually friends in elementary school. After high school, we just lost touch. And I recently saw that she had a YouTube channel. So I subscribed to her and she's actually amazing. I love her channel. Um, but yeah, so shout out to uh, Danielle. <laughs> so anyway, I think this was in a goodie bag from one of her slumber parties. <laughs> I still have it. Wow, okay, so, but I'm decluttering it now because I just, I haven't used it and uh, it's old, like, why do I keep these things? Uh, not anymore, anyway. Okay, I'm decluttering a couple of glitters, and you know what? This might have been from that same slumber party. I know it's from a slumber party. This is a Wet n Wild Mega Sparkle Confetti, uh, like glitter. Okay, it's a loose glitter, and I kept it for a really long time. I used it in a video, like my Galaxy Snapchat tutorial thing, and that's the last time I used it. That was over a year ago now. And honestly, I don't use glitter ever. And I feel like if I did want to use glitter, I would buy the Urban Decay glitter eyeliners because it's not all gonna fall down your face. Like this fall down, falls down all over my face, which is, fine if I'm trying to make my face sparkly like for that Snapchat tutorial but in general I don't want glitter all over my face so I also don't have a glitter primer and because I never use glitter like I'm not gonna get a glitter primer you know I would never use it so this is going uh, someone actually in a recent video I think my makeup inventory video someone just said just get rid of it <laughs> and you gave me permission and I am I'm getting rid of it it's gone and then this one is Oh God, you're, you're gonna laugh. Uh, and I don't know if I'll have proof because the label is like 99% rubbed off. This is a Mary Kate and Ashley makeup product. It is a gold glitter, okay? Th this is the packaging. So it's like, it's like this little kind of cocktail shaker thing and I can't believe I use that much actually. But anyway, it's like this loose, maybe it's like a loose eyeshadow, but there's like this stopper and you pull it out and then like, you know, you just rub it all over and it's this gold glitter. Can you guys even, maybe you can see that. I don't know, but it's like, what am I gonna do with this? All right, so I'm sorry if the lighting changed or like if 
a lot of stuff changed. Um, my memory card ran out of memory and then the sun just became like directly in that window and so I had to close the blinds. So actually I think this might be even better lighting than what it was before. But anyway, so yeah, this is the Mary Kay and Ashley glitter. I think yeah you can you can kind of see it and it was fun while I had it it's just hilarious like do you who remembers when Mary Kate and Ashley had makeup that they sold at Walmart like this is this is it this is a relic like I shouldn't get rid of this I'm kind of a sentimental person but I am also a minimalist so I'm gonna get rid of it and I have footage of it like I have proof that I had it for as long as I had it and that's all I need and you know what I actually still have a Mary Kate and Ashley little backpack that I use to this day I kept it for so long thinking that I would I would use it because it's just a gold glitter like that could be fun to use but then when I finally pulled it out um, not just now, but like before when I decided to declutter it, I was like, no, if I'm going to use a gold glitter or like a gold eyeshadow, it's going to be something that's way better quality than this. This is garbage. This, oh dear, look, there's like a crack in it. Can you see? Anyway, this is a Kirkland, the Costco brand, uh, mineral shimmer powder. And my mother-in-law actually gave this to me years ago she was decluttering her own makeup collection and she gave this to me and I don't think I ever I may have used it in college at one point to like kind of give my body like a shimmer when I went out but like it's not a daily thing and also I think I actually tested it out when I decided to declutter it to see if it would be good as a highlight because like when she gave it to me I didn't know about highlighting like what's that all right so here you see it right here I feel like it just goes away like it's not a highlight it's gone <laughs> it just leaves this like kind of chalky finish so I'm like no the only other thing I might have used it for was a face highlight and it's it's not that it's not gonna work like that so I am getting rid of it I'm not gonna try and pan it there's no way I would be able to use it it's yeah it's gone like I mentioned I, I used to use bare minerals I may use it again it is a really good um, powder foundation but the kit that I originally got actually I think my friend Rachel got it for me for Christmas when I was in uh, when we were in college um, and the kit included this bronzer which is it's just called warmth I don't know if they have different shades but this is the one that came in the kit and it is very orange and you know what though I did use it I did use it when I was first playing with makeup and I probably shouldn't have ever because it is so dark for my skin tone here like on my do you see it right there it just looks dirty <laughs> And I now know that I should not contour. I tried contouring with this. I should not contour with such a warm toned product. And even as a bronzer, it is just too dark for my skin tone. Here's something that might be familiar to you guys. It was in my Finish 17 in 2017 project. And in my last video, I kind of talked about it. I showed you guys my progress. Uh, that is the Benefit Erase Paste. Ugh. Okay, I haven't smelled it since I officially put it in my uh, declutter bag. So it's got the same amount of progress. I'm not even going to hold it up close to you guys. Um, I've used a lot of it. I've used, you know, yes I am. Because I'm proud of myself. I've used a lot of this product. Uh, there is not much left at all. But when I was talking about it in my update, I said it, it had started to kind of smell a little bit. And I, I could probably use it up, but I don't know. Many of you said to just declutter it. If it's not worth putting an expired product on my face. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of the progress that I've made. And yeah, I'm close to finishing it, but you're absolutely right. And also, I didn't even like using it. If I liked using it, maybe I would have kept it up, but no, it's not worth it. Um, and now that I've smelled it again, I'm really glad <laughs> that I decluttered it because it smells awful uh yeah bye bye <laughs> and I, I won't be buying it again um first of all it didn't work for me second of all I don't buy benefit anymore